it's time to get the rear lights done and I'll show you what I've done before I get too far ahead of myself. So as it's quickly coming to, well I say quickly, it's coming to an end. Um, I've installed the indicators as you can see and we'll just cut straight to a video I've done of that earlier on in the week. Right, the rear lights, <clears throat> I will be slightly modifying the housings. Um, if you can see just here and up here, I've put in some partitions. You can see better just there and just here. This is because I want to, to make sure that the light bleed from the indicator doesn't go round here and then the side lights I want the, the light to stay inside the side light and not bleed into the brake light section so that's what I've done with that one and at the same time jumping forward as you can see I've put some uh, reflector in there so the brake light here it's, it's got a partition just here and the indicator I've put some uh, reflector in there um, to keep the light from bouncing around um, into the other lenses um, that is just some um, chrome tape that I have and uh, I'm hoping that that's going to stop the light bleeding into other parts of the light cluster and um, that's going to sit very well over there now we haven't got as many light pods in the cluster that the real thing has so this one's going to be the turn signal and I will be laying in as I've done with the front some of these 0805s. I'm going to be laying in those probably one, two, three, four, and five. So I'll get five in there. I did try just a normal round LED, but I put the lens over it and then powered it up. And all you got was a big splash of light here. There was nothing else in here. So I'm going to go as, as I did with the front ones. And inlay some of these very tiny SMDs across there. Four across the bottom and then one up. Cover them with orange Tamiya Clear and see how they have fared and uh, if I need to um, build it up with an orange diffuser then uh, that's what I might have to do so uh, let me set those LEDs in let them dry put the lens out put some uh, TS um, sorry uh, X X26 clear over them and see how they go from there so now the indicators are done I have um, five I think I've got five one two three four five in there um, that's potted in a resin I have wired up two red LEDs for bright lights, let me just reach over, turn on the bench power supply and it is currently on 6.01 volts and these are just two that are wired in 
Sarah's. So two times three is six. And that's running at quite a lot. They're really bright. So when they are in their respective three millimeter um, housings, I do actually think that they are being driven uh, way too hard at six volts. They just Yeah, they are being driven way too hard. Let's try and knock them down to five. That's 5.02. They're still pretty bright, so I'm gonna knock those down to five volts when I install them with either resistors or dialing it down in the um the bare settings certainly don't want to be taking anything apart and uh, replacing it now this is a little experiment that i tried with um i forget it the right way around with side lights I put a little uh, 150 resistor in there which is not enough so I'll bump that up to six and that is four da, da, da. side lights which is that one which I think is ample don't want to drive these too hard because they are only um, two volt. They don't like three volt. Yeah, if I drive them up at seven volt, they are being driven hard. So I'll just drive them at. 6.01 according to the uh, bench power supply so they'll do so I'm going to put that into a little loom and then that's the side lights done so all that's going to be is left and right because the brake lights work in pairs and then that will wire up into the main cable from the front of the truck. I've got a seven core cable running from front to back. So these will all be wired in at the back of the chassis. So I'm going to make, now I've tested those. Um, I'm gonna get those. Now my electronics store um, didn't have any of these, three volt, three mil. And I said I'd leave it and then I went online to see if I could get some couldn't find any so I still ended up getting two volt Two volt um, reds from Eddie's electronics I use that or um, um, Who else do I use? I think I use um, What's that place in Anglesey? Oh, I don't know. It'll come to me. Right, let's get that in. And then I need two white ones, which are 3.2 to 3. And I'll wire those for the reverse light. So let me get those all wired in and I'll be right back. Ooh, right then. Um, that was a little bit of um, a fiddle but the rear lights are done uh, with a mess of wiring but from the back doesn't look too good this is only satin black paint so that will get touched up before it goes back on 
that mud flap slightly crooked so let's pump up the volume and put some power to it and see what it looks like so I don't want to do the indicators and if you can hear anything in the background I think there's some kind of festival going on downtown so those two are three volt so for the side lights I should be able to uh -huh. they work and let's get the bright lights oh shit they are bright yeah they are doing bright but that's what bright lights are meant to be so if I wire the bright lights together on a 6 volt supply, it's the same voltage. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Like that. That's got a 150 mil ohm resistor in. I can actually feel some heat from them. Or is it just me? I think it's just me but yeah they work let's have a look at the indicators we'll knock that down to three 2.86 2.86 it's good having a bench power supply so these two So, black to black, red to red, blue to bits. Yeah, that's that side. I think she's trying to do Megan Trainer shake it off, and by the sounds of it, she's not doing a very good job. Check it off. Uh huh, that's working. So let's put them both together. And see how they look. Comparison left and right. Sounds like a bloody fairground. We knock the camera over. Yeah, I think that looks okay. And when they flash, let me just unplug that. And then just touch it in there. It's come on. Oh, I've knocked the voltage down. That's what happened. Yeah, cool. I better knock that off before I knock the voltage up and blow them all. So, gotta get that on the back of the truck again right the lights are on and they all work and the the amount of wire that I left to go between them wasn't enough I was measuring on the mat thinking I don't need to go 180 because 180 is as wide as the truck and I didn't take into account the standoffs for the um, light brackets. But that looks 
pretty neat back there. All this will be um, tidied up, shrinked, wrapped, and there is a little plate that uh, ABRC Paints did for me. If I took all that in there. That's going to be a lot more tidied up because there's an axle directly below it. And then when that's all tidied up and what have you, this checker plate that he just had in um, in his um, box, and that's just going to go over there, and you wouldn't know anything. That anything was under there and uh, he's got another piece for me to put on um, in front of the fifth wheel which I think is going to tidy a lot of it up I'm not going for the full deck plate I don't like them um, that's going to be more than enough I like it as it is so yeah that wire runs all the way up to the front so obviously I've got a little bit of uh, slack on this end so I will be making a note of what is what there's a common positive with two indicators left and right there's the common positive just there. So that's seven wires. The common common ground, but I'll use it as common ground. I don't think I'll even use a common positive. I'll use the red for positive. Left and right indicators, green and yellow. I'll make a note of which is which. Um, so I've got common positive, left, right, brake, side and reverse light. So I'll use six out of the seven of those and that will just sit in there. I shall pull that through and then trim that over here in the cab. Um, so yeah, um, that is what I'll be doing next, connecting this up, then testing it again at this end to make sure it's all good before I continue, and then all the rear will be going into this one, which will be sat on the floor, up in the front, like the other one is, because then... The floor will sit on top of it and hide it all. That's the idea. So I've got one loom coming up from here. I've got my servos that for the fifth wheel, the steering, the gearbox, and the side lights. They're all plugged in. Now, what I am going to do is I'm going to unplug the high bar and low bar from here because the main lights are those little cob LEDs which are heavy duty and I don't want uh, I want them to be as bright as I can get them without overdriving them but that will definitely overdrive so I'm going to get those lights I'm going to put them in this side because I've got three spare outlets so less waffle more doing Let's get this tidied up so we're at a point where we can hide everything. So I shall do that and be back in a sec. <laughs> That's all the soldering done. I've put a bit of braid over the um, back end of the cable so all these are 
peach shrinked, that one's moved. So all those down there are all heat shrinked in. And I'm just going to put a little bit of tape around that. That's all frayed out, which is annoying. Oh well. Um, anyway, that's just, that's just to go over the top of the um, the axle casing, just to give the cable a bit of extra um, protection. So let's move yours out of the way. And get my self amalgamating tape just so I can put some protection on that end. When that wind changes direction I can really get a good audio on that concert that's happening down there and there was one woman on there doing arrhythmics and she was murdering it she was from here anyway I'm not going to put any more than that over there just to seal up that end and then I can pull that over the whole lot let me move these labels now I don't need them of course I know what they are because I've written them down what the seven core cable is so I know what they are at the other end that's not worked out as good as I thought it would so I'm going to take that off oh somebody's asked for one more oh, no more please just go home that's come out a bit rubbish. I have no idea what this concert is. But I'm sure I will go on Facebook and everybody will tell me how awesome it is. everywhere now so I'm going to put a bit of self amalgamating tape around that so I'll just pause and do that and that is it that's going to have the checker plate uh, cover over it and it would be as good as gold and uh, when the light lenses get glued in So everything up to the front of the truck I need to put in the um, reverse light lenses get some double sided tape but that's one of the finishing touches so uh, well happy with that so need to get up the front and test I think they've finished singing and wailing if you can see them but they're right over the other side of the valley right over 
of the crow, yeah. As the crow flies maybe a mile and a half away. But yeah, right. I'm going to uh, spin this round, get this uh, tidied up and uh, a couple of phone calls, etc. And they're still going on down the road at the other side of the valley and um queen queen tribute's just been on and it was quite good to be fair right got a mirror over here um and i'm going to connect up this wire i've got to be careful because the blue and the green are indicators so red is common so I can hook that up I am on um, let me just get that down to five six point zero one over there so I shall touch remember the bear system is common positive with um, switching on negative so orange is the side lights black is the brake lights they should be mothers yeah and the pink should be the backup lights that's cool so we have backup lights brake lights and side lights side lights brake lights and they're all running off six volts so i remember i put in a a 150 ohm resistor in the side lights so because I didn't want them as bright as brake lights and then obviously reverse lights um, I think I might be able to ramp them up a little bit because they the voltage range of them was 3.2 to 3.8 so I should be able to ramp that up a little bit. So if I clip that on there. And then I can increase the voltage. That's seven. Seven volts. So I, I, I can drop that down in the Bayer settings. And tweak it that way. So yeah, I shall drop that down to... Um, three volts that's 3.04 connect up the common positive and then on these two we should have turn signal and other side and both together that is uh, pretty good I'm just touching them on there and that's three volt let me try and get that up to 3.2 What's that current running at? 1.5 milliohms. Milliamps, should I say, not milliohms. So that's that, that's that. That needs um, shortening. Let me get you up a little bit. Show you what is what. This is where. going on there 
this will all terminate into there so I've got a good eight inches to tidy up that coming from the front bumper I think I might shorten those wires down a little bit might not matter no not worried about that at the moment but that will all fit under the seats um, where can I get that in there yes I can you not see that because the dashboard will be uh, covering that and um, I think that's looking pretty good I need to put a seat belt on him because I put a seat belt on there but I haven't put a seat belt across him and this is just double-sided satin polyester 5mm ribbon nothing fancy screw that in there and put that across him there and then one across his waist yeah that'll do Anyway, I'm trying about now and not actually doing anything. Um, what time is it? Half past five. Um, I'm going to get this done this weekend. Um, don't know when I'm going to get to edit the video because little Miss Harriet is playing lead role in a stage production. So. I'm going to see her tomorrow and then I'm taking them all out for lunch. And uh, I think that's it. So yeah, any questions, just ask. Uh, but don't ask me about wiring because I think this wiring, the settings for the Bayer are specific to my project. And um, I don't think it would be wise of me to start saying oh I've done this I've done this and then you guys go ahead and do it because um, depending on what LEDs you have what wiring what lights and everything um, so it's not for the beginner definitely not definitely not for the beginner um, so just be mindful of that if you buy a Bayer system, it's not for the faint-hearted, it really is. Um, a challenge. Well, I think if you've done one, then it will get easier and easier. But uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there. And the next time, I'm going to put the lights in, connect it all in, put the Bayer in, test it all make sure it's all working and then it's just a case of sticking in the the cab wiring all that in with the, with the spotlights and then fit the heavy tower and then um get it going so yeah thanks for watching um give it give it a like you know it helps the channel as far as i'm aware so uh, i shall see you later